Hi everyone, I'm Jeanette Seha, your host with Press Pass LA. We're here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. We're celebrating the sixth annual Thirst Project Gala. That's right, their Thirst Project is an organization that provides clean water to people all over the world. We're going to go take a look, talk with CEO Seth Maxwell, celebrities and social media influencers. Let's go take a look. So how can others get involved in the Thirst Project? Yeah, if you're a student or a parent of a student or a teacher, bring us to your school. Uh, we don't charge to come speak. We'll literally come do an assembly to educate your students about it. The goal being that when we leave, they'll do something. They'll raise money and, and actually build water projects. Um, if you're not in school or you're not a student or a parent, um, give. 25 bucks gives one person clean water for life. Not once a month or not once a year, once. Uh, it's literally something everyone can do. So check out thirstproject.org for more info or text the word thirst to 97779. Uh, it doesn't charge you. It's not a donation. It literally just gives you info. So get involved. How did you get invited or, or involved in the Thirst Project? My record label told me about it and I'm a firm believer in supporting youngsters and this is something that they started and I think it's fantastic. So I was happy to come in. Yeah, well, congratulations for being here. What song are you going to perform tonight? I'm going to perform The Big Bang, my song from last year. Oh my gosh, I love that song. Yes, yes. Is it, I mean, I'm not going to pretend to sing it. Come on, sing it, sing it, sing it. <laughs> the Big, Big Bang. Yeah. You get 10 points for doing that. Can I perform with you? Yeah, you should perform for me. I've just been fired. I got fired. Fired next. <laughs> did you first hear about it? How did, you sound so inspired and so passionate about it. How did you get involved? Like, how, how did you find out? I mean, honestly, how I got involved is that I, I did a play with someone who at the time was the roommate of Seth Maxwell, who runs this organization. By the way, the CEO of the organization started this thing out of college. He's younger than me, uh, and he's basically built an empire here, which is unbelievable. Um, so I went to lunch with Seth. Uh, and uh, I was so compelled by just him as a human being, but beyond that, just what, what he was trying to build here. Um, and, and I can tell you that just from an organizational standpoint, it is getting, it's growing exponentially every year. This thing is just like a snowball and the momentum has picked up so much. Uh, it's, it's incalculable the amount of good that they're going to be able to do over the next, you know, 5, 10, 20 years. So uh, I, to, to, to have been on the ground floor of that and to have played kind of a small part uh, is, is, is a blessing. What brings me here tonight is a very special invitation from a very special human being named Seth. And uh, the work that he's passionate about is something that I love and admire and here I am. So you're also like a social media influencer. Yeah, I'm. Uh, thank God it's my job now. Otherwise it would be a huge addiction for me and maybe a real severe problem, but it's working out. Hey, and so what brings you tonight to the Thirst Project Gala? Tonight I am here to help honor uh, a friend and fellow content creator, Connor Franta, who has raised you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars for the, the charity using um, his birthday as a catalyst to get people, instead of giving him presents, to donate to the cause. You're so young. How old are you? 22. I look like I'm 12, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just at such a young age, you're doing so much. Um, so tell us, and your uh, social media, how did you get such a huge following, or how did you get started? Sheer dumb luck. Uh, I really, I just got started because I had a lot of friends doing it, and I saw a lot of people making YouTube videos that I thought were really cool, and I was like, well, why can't I do that? So after about three years of making just YouTube videos where only a couple people were listening, slowly people started to listen and view and watch, and it just kind of grew into a mind of its own. Well, that's a wrap, guys. If you want to stay tuned on everything that matters, make sure to log on to our website, www.presspasslay.com. See you there.